Goods sitting at a standstill at the Port of Seattle as labor negotiations intensify. The Pacific Maritime Association, which represents companies and carriers, says the union refused to dispatch longshore workers to container terminals Saturday and claims those behind slowdowns and halts to operations Friday. PMA said in a statement, without this vital function, ships sit idle and cannot be loaded or unloaded, leaving American exports sitting at the docks unable to reach their destination. The International Longshore and Warehouse Union, representing workers, claims in a statement, PMA is using the media to influence the negotiating process, saying despite what you are hearing from PMA, West Coast ports are open as we continue to work under our expired collective bargaining agreement. Union workers say their demands aren't outlandish. Workers are asking for better wages after PMA members made historic profits of more than $500 billion during the pandemic. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is made up of the Port of Seattle and Tacoma, which supports more than 58,000 jobs and more than $12 billion in economic activity in the state. According to its 2022 trade report, its top trading partners are in Asia, including China, Japan and Vietnam. The top export items, hay, frozen potatoes, wood, paper and other agricultural products. Union reps for the Port of Tacoma says operations continue there, but says workers are becoming frustrated and says despite challenges from the pandemic, members continue to show up daily and move the nation's cargo. The president of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce sent a letter to President Biden asking him to intervene as ports head into its peak shipping season. We've reached out to several Washington state members of Congress who just weeks ago applauded the White House for keeping an eye on negotiations, but we have not heard back. Also tonight, the Coast Guard is monitoring the situation. For now, live in Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.